हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू एपिसोड थ्री ऑफ डिजाइनर टॉक्स ऑन डिजाइन बाय रेन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू मेक अ रिएक्शन वीडियो इट विल बी लाइक इंटीरियर डिजाइनर रिएक्टिंग टू सिंगापुर प्रॉपर्टी टूर सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो दिस इज सिंगापुर स्टॉलेस्ट बिल्डिंग and this is in cbd and i'm reacting to selling singapore's video and yes i have permission i had word with them and they allowed me so thank you selling singapore all video credit goes to selling singapore and let's get started welcome back to wallick Res- he is nick tan he is the founder of selling singapore and is really a nice person here and he is following me back oh, also oh, oh. this is we're back at the tallest building in singapore and today we have a fully renovated two bedroom ready nice modern interior and you will be on height like this is the tallest building in singapore so you can imagine the height you'll get the view and everything will be like out of this world for you to move in so let's go So Wallick Residences is located on Wallick Street named after Dr. Nathaniel Wallick, a Danish surgeon and botanist who was close friends with Sir Stanford Raffles. So in 1822 so And one more thing I would like to add like uh, Singapore is modern but it is very green like the government has made Singapore intentionally very green so that they can beat that heat the coastal line like you know how coastal areas are they are very hot so this is it singapore is like jungle also it is like skyscraper everything into a small pack the stanford raffles asked dr wallick to come to singapore and design the botanical gardens which we've come to love today i have been to these gardens yeah i i have been there multiple times and these gardens are one of the best biggest and greenest you'll find all type of flora and fauna there so let's talk about the location on to the URI map Wallick Residences sits in the central region in downtown core planning area and Tanjong Pagar sub planning zone exclusive with a population of just 690 residents is directly integrated with Guaco Tower which houses grade A offices Sofitel as well as six levels of retail space that provide you with plenty of F&B options and is directly accessible to Tanjung Pagar so this is marina bay you can see this water body so opposite this water body is the singapore's or asia's one of the best five star hotel and this entire property sits in cbd so this is the main business district where all uh, offices are there all high rises building and everything is located there this is like you can call it heart of singapore MRT with a height of 283.7 meters Guaco Tower is currently the tallest building in Singapore So let's talk about the nearby amenities and your convenience So you've got little farm grocers just downstairs at Guaco Tower as well as a whole range of F&B options nearby you also have Tanjong Pagar Plaza which has a hawker center as well as fair price and then there's a cold storage at Altas a fair price finest fair price is better than cold storage i can say that because i used to live there and fair price price is actually fair than the cold storage and even don don donkey at 100 am mall okay guys welcome to the unit let's go to the floor plan because i want to give you a better grasp of the unit so the unit sits on the 56th floor 915 square feet two bedrooms faces north means no afternoon sun it's priced at 3.648 million exclusive of 236000 interior design cost and the maintenance fee is $764.40 look at this interior this is so modern and elegant at the same time the gold it is looking so good on furnitures and neutral color scheme it is like if i had this much of money then i would have been living here so the project he opened in 2017 99 so it's a quite a new project 
and 99 year lease is like a very long time so nine year lease from 2011 and houses 181 residential units from the level 39 to 64 of this magnificent skyscraper so you're walking through the front door and the first thing you're greeted with is this reception counter that the developers have already built in so the idea is done by chalk and it's immaculately done up with granite countertop you've got a lot of shoe space over here and you need a long big shoe rack because if you're living with the family or you have a wife or a girlfriend then there will be a lot of shoes and to accommodate those you need the space for him and her in case you're a kicks fan and then just check out the wallpapers that run throughout the home very lovely you switch teams when you come to this wall over here you've got nice metal strips that run across the market nice texture the space and you're coming into the open kitchenette which is this band over here you've got gaggenau appliances which is the hood hob and even a steamer oven over here built in for you then concealed fridge also gaggenau very lovely and flushed is this concealed built-in carpentry for you to put a everything is like a more accommodated in like very uh, compact space i like that and the dryer and fridge everything is hidden that is i think the usp if you're paying this much of money then i think you deserve this much of luxury away all your necessaries plus there's a bosch washer come dry over here for the laundry then right across you have a massive and I countertop again, sink and tap over here. Breakfast. This countertop design is very neat and clean. This and dining area set up for you, then we're flowing direct. Actually, I like the propping. They have done propping. You can call it propping or staging, anything like whatever term suits you, but they have done wonderfully. Like bottles and like, I don't think someone is living here, but they have staged it like so lively, it is so beautiful to look at. Directly into a huge, lovely living room that's been set up with such cozy taste. You can see that you've got a feature wall going at the back with an art piece, you've got a hanging chandelier, lovely for you. Right across, Chalk has really outdone themselves. They've put in this feature wall over here with this TV. This installation wall looks really beautiful like i told you in starting also the gold feature the chromis feature is all over the place and it is connecting entire house together and it has a sewer function i'll show you in a bit but right now there's a balcony that i want to show you so if you step out here with this teeny tiny balcony is so beautiful it's, n it's not about the size of the balcony, it's about the view you get and this view is priceless. It may you find that you're on a very, very lovely skyline view. Just right below you is the rest of Tanjung Paga. So all these are short flats over here. You can see uh, in the far, the iconic Sun Tzu Fang. And then down, all the way down to the right over here, you can see the Singtel building. So that basically takes you into the Orchard Road stretch. And then even you got Clark Key, City Hall. Clark Key. Uh, is my college like where I used to go years back uh, Clarky I have so many memories but le let's get back to video it's down that way if you sweep across to the right this is all manual life we're just building so you're really in the city center and the heart of where everything is so let's go inside I want to show you the bedrooms if you look down you'll notice that you've got huge slabs of marble tiles this is white marble running across all uh, the common areas and even into this common bedroom that they kind of set up into like a convertible space So notice it's open right now But if you wanted to there's a considerable sliding door over here that can really uh, close this space up So you've got the wardrobe going. This is a nice shade of uh, kind of woody tone, right? And look at the laminates inside Very beautifully done up for you. These are quality finishing there is a single bed set up for you already. I think this is like uh, this common bedroom. You can use it for your kids or 
according to me if you want like you have some friends so you can give the single bed they do they won't be needing a double bed custom headboard over here you've got a dresser for the mess this modern art is like something else and then this is the suitable part for you to just push in the TV if you rotate it like such I like this feature I have seen this somewhere else also but uh, yeah, but this design is like really nice you if you need it in your living room you just turn it there or in your bedroom you just have to turn it very nice and smart feature to have in your house Okay, now let's go across because you have a lovely bathroom, simply fantastic. So immaculate marble running across the floor, white marble, and then you've got contrasting black marble for the countertop, the vanity counter, and then carpentry opens up. Finally, we save the best for last because this is the master and you can see that the wallpaper kind of transcends a little bit the tone. This bedroom is looking so cozy. The headboard design and the mirror and the cloth, it is looking so good. Of the room, you've got beautiful pale parquet on the floorings going all across and an ID, backboard, designer finishings with a cushion touch going at the back and a little bit of artwork. So the master bedroom enjoys the same skyline view and right beneath you really is a very beautiful unblocked view right across you can see the greens going up in the far and of course no master bedroom is complete without the lovely master bathroom so the wardrobe is actually attached within the master bathroom already done up so there's a sensor on the door I think so when you open it the interior light turn on and when you close it there's a, that same sensor turn off the light and at night you don't have to turn on all of your lights you can just open your wardrobe and get whatever you want and just close it back in. Up for you you can put in your luggage so on and so forth and then there is a huge vanity countertop going here standing shower to my rear with a rain shower already complete for you and then of course there's a WC and even a small cupboard to the top ready for your usage for your toiletries <laughs> you can put your brushes and everything there this is like very small but very practical storage space so if you've been loving this home tour so far then smash that like button and subscribe I will and I'm already subscribed <laughs> Subscribe to our channel and we'll keep bringing you more lovely homes just like this. Right now, let's talk about who this is for. So if you're looking for a fully renovated two bedroom, you just want to pull your luggage and move right in because this is already immaculately done for you then this would make sense. If you're looking for an investment property, then let's go to the investment angle. It is rising and you'll be primed to take advantage of this strategic location. So guys, this was my reaction on selling Singapore's property tour and I really like the property. It is so modern and the designer has put a lot of thought in it while designing it. I like the golden accent all over the place. It is so cozy. I know this is not the biggest but it is like I can say one of the most luxurious and this property sits in heart of Singapore CBD and I know that area is very expensive and the view out of that place it was amazing. So if you find this video informative then do consider subscribing to Design by Rent. Share this video, like this video and thanks for watching. See you in next episode.